come up, family values are the bedrock of this nation. Our fidelity, honesty, and loyalty to family is our most sacred asset as Americans. Welcome back to Sam and Max, Max, Chapter 4. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Yoo-hoo, Mr. Lincoln! I believe we have a question in the audience from someone who is not Candidate Lincoln's wife. Oh, hi, Sam. Hi, Max. Greetings, random harlot! Babe, I'm here! Are you ready for our date? What? I, I've never seen this woman before in my life. On the phone, you sounded so eager to meet me. Listen to me, America. I did not arrange a date with this woman. Sounds oh, familiar. You have to fool around with, but not to date. Mr. Lincoln, I can't believe you're doing this to me. <laughs> Boo! Yay! We are Tiddly Cadet Nader! Wait a minute, does this mean Max is going to be president? Results from the emergency election are coming in. And it appears that former sitcom star Max has been elected president of the United States. Yay! An unprecedented show of bipartisan solidarity, all of the country's political parties have desperately asked for a recount. Let's cut to the White House lawn to hear candidate Lincoln's address. You've got to be <laughs> me, you idiot. Dude. Took the news much better than expected. Get your robot under control. I will make you all my hypnotic slaves. That's the robotic Abe Lincoln will enslave the entire East Coast if we don't stop it. Damn. I'm the president of the U.S. Let's go bomb someone into oblivion. Not just anyone, Max. Abe Lincoln must die. We have our title. All right, we're gonna have to go after that. I completely lost my mental track because I had a break to re to re edit footage. I have nothing to say about that. Okay, I took a break to edit footage, and then and then when I restarted, I loaded from the wrong save because I had two saves that are roughly in the same area. All right. Does this mean I'm president forever? Where are we going, Sam? Back to the office. I don't want to go after. I don't want to go after Lincoln until I'm pretty well armed. Cause he's kind of big and on a rampage. He's on a rampage. Neither a regal nor a legal rampage. All right. Let's check in Civil. See if she's okay after. Having her heart broken. Hiya, Sybil. How are things in the world of computer generated romance? Oh, I'm not doing that anymore. Can you believe that guy? Never mentioning that he was married? Men are such self centered jerks. Preach it, girl! We friend. are. So you changed careers again? Yeah. Now I'm running a dating service. Um, come again? A carbon dating service. I bought this astoundingly useful machine that tells me how old things are. I usually just cut them in half and count the rings. There's a reason you're not invited to birthday parties anymore. I wanted a fresh start and a new career to get my mind off that fiasco with Honest Abe. This wasn't my first choice, but I got a good deal on the carving dating equipment online, and I couldn't afford to change my sign. <laughs> hey, works for me. You're having financial problems? I'm afraid so. After my public humiliation with Lincoln, all the applicants for my dating service demanded their money back. Not to mention all the money tied up in pending litigation with the clients who watched Max's dating video. I stated very clearly up front that viewer discretion was advised. <laughs> Believe me, I would love to just close up shop for a while and take a vacation. Forget about Honest Dave and all the lawsuits. It was a wardrobe malfunction! But unless I get a major don't windfall, wear, I on. have to hope the carbon dating business takes off. Okay. How does carbon dating work? Yeah. I don't know. Something about carbon-14 and half-lives and radiation. I'm impressed with your detailed scientific knowledge. Very professional. That's the beauty of it. I don't really need to know anything. Uh? I just aim my little machine at something and it tells me how old it is. Allow me to demonstrate. 
This tiki is, oh my gosh, it's, it's 2,000 years old. This is fantastic. Old is good. You can pawn it. Absolutely. I can have my office put on the National Register of Historic Places. I might even get a grant. I'd be rich. Oh, Lord. Can we borrow your carbon dating machine? No way. That machine is still my only chance to take care of my money problems. Unless I get a grant, since I'm now on the National Register of Historic Places. What, it happened that There's fast? No way I'm letting it out of my sight. Who could possibly need a freelance carbon dating service? Plenty of people. Freelance archaeologists, independent historians, rogue paleobotanists. Paleo it's also naughty fun for your next bachelorette party. Rogue. Now that Antiques Thunderdome is getting so popular, business is bound to pick up. Antiques Thunderdome? The show where common everyday people bring random junk from around the house to a giant steel cage match and engage in a no-holds-barred appraisal to the death? That's the one. I'd now watch it. Everybody's convinced they have some priceless treasure in their attic and their home will be declared a historic monument. Huh. Interesting. See you around, Sybil. So, she needs a government grant. Come on, Max, let's go talk to the president about that. Hey, wait a minute. I think I can put two and two together about something here. Yes. Where are we going, Sam? We're to off the White, to White House, buddy. Oh, boy! Yeah! Let's go in here! I like it in here! It's full of... things! Yay! I think I'm trying too hard today, I don't know why. Come on, move it along. Finally, Mr. President, you're here! Why are these That's three idiots the here? President? People will vote for anyone these days. Obviously. What's that supposed to mean? It means... Never mind. Look, Max, all the soda poppers are here. But why? I don't have time for foreign dignitaries. Check out all the cool stuff on my new desk. Why are they here? Look, Max, it's our old pal. <clears throat> Look, Grand Imperial Warlord Maximus Optimus, Keeper of the Seven Keys. What? It's our old pal. The former child star and embarrassing idol semifinalist, Peepers. That's former child star and embarrassing idol semifinalist, Governor Peepers. Governor? You're a governor, too? That's right! I got North Dakota! North Dakota, the leftover state. I thought it was North Dakota, still warmer than Saskatchewan. Hey, be nice! We've got a rich and varied history! North Dakota, hope you like snow. North Dakota, come climb all over our big white butte. Hey, <laughs> sorry, I got caught up in the <laughs> All right. What's there to do in North Dakota? Plenty. Snowmen, snow angels, snow forts, snowball fights, homemade ice cream, and of course the majesty of Mount Rushmore. That hasn't been decided yet. Right, I spoke too soon. What hasn't been decided yet? It's Mount Rushmore is where it is. What business do you have in the Oval Office? We need the president to settle custody of Mount Rushmore. What? Max has the presidential pen. Somewhere. Just tell me where to sign. Great. The problem is solved. But seriously, if you guys see the president, tell him we're waiting. Max really is president. Yeah. It was in the papers. We haven't been watching the news back in Fargo. We've been so busy with the arms build-up. The what? What was that? Uh, did I say arms build-up? I meant winter paradise toboggan and scrapbooking jamboree. Um, I'm scared. Can't we all just get along? We can if we all just keep quiet and avoid another incident. Honesty is rarely the best policy. All us presidents know that. <laughs> okay. Well, fascinating. 
Huh. I wonder what the others want. I guess they all Max, want Mount Rushmore. Max, you remember <clears throat> most omnipotent exaltedness Max Sama, overseer of the nine cosmic planes. You remember Spex, the other soda popper. His title changes every time? Our loyal subject. What are you guys talking about? Kiss the ring. What? No. <sighs> what business do you have with the president? You're here to get federal resolution on a dispute. Okay. It wouldn't be a dispute if you... If I what? Nothing. Awkward. What have you been up to? Winning an election. I'm now the governor of South Dakota. Hey, just like Wizzer. No, not just like Wizzer. I was the first one of us to run for office. <laughs> like you invented it. You just... Ah, uh, forget it. What are you doing as governor? I'm fixing the problems in the state and getting it back to perfect working order. <laughs> it was broken? Did you know that the Black Hills are really more of a greenish gray? We've got a committee addressing the problem. Oh, what great. about the Badlands? We're making them even worse. Okay. Sing your theme song for us. No, I don't sing that anymore. I want to be respected as more than just a beloved TV celebrity. If it makes you feel better, you were never really that beloved. <laughs> Sam and I always watched your show with detached irony. Anything else to say what about this? What business do you have with the president? You're here to get federal resolution on a dispute. Okay. It wouldn't be a dispute. Okay, we heard this. Nothing. Awkward. Nothing new. So Good where's back. Wizard in charge of? Welcome back, Governor Wizard. Here to give another demonstration on soda abuse? That's not funny. How did West Dakota become a separate state? Three of us ran for governor together. We got along so well during the campaign, and we were all such former TV celebrities that all three of us won. Voters realized they'd elected three governors for only two states. That's when the unpleasantness began. Okay. What was the unpleasantness? We fought for a long time about how to divide up the states. It was almost a war! We divided everything up fairly and all agreed that Mount Rushmore should be in the South. We did not! You! I what? You! Oh, never mind. So much unpleasantness. Why should your state get Mount Rushmore? Because they just want it for tourism. But my plan will save lives. It'll become a monument to soda abuse prevention. You're fixated. People realize that just like Washington, Jefferson, Roosevelt, and the other guy, they too can overcome their crippling addiction to carbonated beverages. They didn't exist George back then. George Washington never had a soda addiction. Why do you think he needed false teeth? You're insane. Why not divide it up equally? That would never work. It's not even. Each of you could get a third of Roosevelt. I want the mustache! <laughs> I wanted the mustache! Okay, Max gets Roosevelt's mustache, Specs gets the glasses, Peepers, you get an ear and both nostrils. That just leaves me with the forehead! All right then, Wizard, we'll throw in Crazy Horse, but that's my final offer. It's not even finished! This will never work! It's just like last time. Oh, that's evil. Thirsty? Yes! But you're not going to offer me a soda, are you? You know I can't resist them. We wouldn't do that. We've got, let's see here, orange soda, cola, We're soda, evil. pop, some more orange soda, and tea. Tea, please. We're all out of tea. Soda? Why are you doing this? That's evil. All right. Stay dry, Wizman. We're close enough to being out of time that I don't think we have too much more time. Ooh, the national budget. Hey, look, Max. It's the presidential discretionary budget. You have $100 million to allocate however you want. Hey. The delightfully random and convenient figure. Didn't Sybil need money for something or other? Yep. All right. I think we're done for now. I'll see you all soon. See you on, catch you on the flip side. Bye-bye. Let's head out the door. Alright, now I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.